All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, and we are back playing some more the Outer Worlds. If you could see your way to getting us our power back, I'd appreciate it. And as you can see, we are about to go off and help Mr. Reed get the power back. We've got Poverty here who's going to be joining us. We better clear out of Mr. Thompson's office if we want to talk. Hey, mister, can we talk? Sorry. Sorry. I... You just want to get out of here. And you likely don't want to tag along like me. It's just... Mr. Thompson has his own view on matters. On account of it's his job and, and what all, but... That's not the only side of the tale. This is about the deserters, so what's the other side of it? To Mr. Thompson, a person's a gear. It does its job quiet-like. If it squeaks or stutters, it gets replaced. The deserters are decent folk. I knew some of them before they left. Did you know this Adelaide Reed mentioned? Miss McDevitt? Oh, gosh no. She was a real important person. A flavorist. Made all the food taste decent. She used to work up in the big office with Mr. Thompson. All I know is, she left after her son died. It was a real big to-do. I could hear them both yelling clear from my own place. Um... How well did you know the deserters? I don't know anybody well. I mostly listened to them talk, kept my head down. There was a boy named Thomas who used to follow me around, asking questions about the stuff I fixed. He was real sweet to me. Not any sort of dissident. I can't leave you at that. Why were Reed and Adelaide arguing? Can't say as I know. I wasn't there. The sound carried, but not the words. If Mr. Thompson ain't of a mind to tell you his own self, you'd best ask Miss McDevitt. If he can get out to her. I can't blame anybody for wanting to leave. This town's got issues. Life's hard here. Especially for them that don't fit in so well. We're one big Spacer's Choice family, but every family's got the one the rest whisper about. Mr. Thompson's aiming to take away their power. They'll have no lights to see, nor heat to cook. They'll be at the mercy of marauders, or worse. I think you should talk to the town's vicar about it. Max, his name is. I'll think about it. Um... I don't know, shall we go speak to the vicar? Where is he? This way? That does not look like it. Is that meant to be a church? It looks like a church. Where there's a church. It's so weird in here. It's too clean. Of course it is. Yes, what is it? You're an outsider. Fantastic. Vicar Maximilian de Soto at your service. Or Vicar Max, if you're the sort who prefers brevity. And Ms. Holcomb as well. How rare to see you out. And with a complete stranger. Curious. Just tagging along, Vicar de Soto. Don't mind me. I so rarely get new people to talk to. Name your poison, anything at all. Spiritual counseling, this season's tossball predictions, the quickest way out of town. Um, Poverty wanted to talk to you about what Reed asked us to do. But what? I thought you would talk to him. You wanted to speak to me, Ms. Holcomb? Every time I've tried to engage you in conversation, you look at the floor, answer in single words, and slink away. I can't imagine what would be so grave as to drive her to my mission. What has Mr. Thompson asked her to do? Uh, cut off the power to Adelaide's deserters. Depriving them of safety from the marauders and wildlife. I can see why that troubles you. Miss Holcomb has a soft heart. Always has, if you believe the talk. But what do you advise? Assuming your goal is to save as many as possible, 
then you should bring everyone together. Send the power to Edgewater and convince the deserters to return to the fold. Is that even possible? Not if things are left to stand as they are. If you don't mind a bit of unsolicited advice, be cautious on your way to the geothermal plant. It is not as safe as you might assume. <laughs> the marauders I met when I ventured outside the walls might agree with you. Bastards snuck up on me while I was dutifully hunting for a banned book in a collector's library. Barely escaped with my life. But you see, one of the reasons I transferred here was to get my hands on that heretical text. If you managed to acquire it for me, I'd pay quite a handsome sum for the book. It's a handwritten journal, a faded blue cover with the name M. Bakonu handwritten in the lower corner. I'll mark where I saw it on your map. Assuming you're serious? I'll look for your book. Thank you. If you retrieve it, you can always find me here. Alright. Just not yet, though. For now... Yes, yeah, so we're going to be doing Comes Now the Power, and I'm assuming he's talking about, yeah, the il illustrated manual. So, let's go deliver Reed's message before we do anything Sorry, else. I'll just be a minute. Whoa, look at the sky. 506. What the hell? Did we like come out the wrong way or something? There's a mountain there that's on the verge of erupting or has erupted, and there's lava on the ground. There's a pop up there. The moon looks lovely. Junkyard. Poverty with me. Are you with me? Yeah, she is. She is. But let's slowly but surely make our way. Huh? Oh crap. I didn't even see these guys. We made it. Barely. But well, let's take the stuff. Yeah, I barely saw these guys, I'll be honest. How the hell did your arms and legs blow up? I did oh wait, it was me. <laughs> Never mind. Oh there's more there. Oh dear. That is not what I wanted to do. Oh my god. How did I make Poverty. Oh. I'll take that. Do anything. And I'll take that. Is there anything here that we can use? Take. Hello. Take all of that. Take those. Poverty doesn't seem like she doesn't mind me using a lock pick. Oh, 
cool. So we've emptied the place out. Doesn't seem like there's anything else for us to linger around for. So let's keep it moving. Oh, hello. I hear shooting. Done. Where's the rest? Where's the others? Oh dear. Perfect. Damn, these guys, I barely noticed them around. My awareness is so bad. But let's keep it moving. So we've done my skill points. We are heading this way. See if there's anything around here. All good. side not much in here all right let's keep it moving oh we're not too far away now that's good Botanical lab. Move along, stranger. We don't want any trouble. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead and ignore the lady with the gun. What do you mean? I don't know you. Whatever you're looking for, it ain't here. Move along. What's your problem? Armed strangers wandering into my camp for one. Some of my camp wandering out for another. I'm looking for Adelaide. I need some ans answers. Answers, huh? You must be one of those philosophicals. Already got ourselves one of those. I'll get out of your hair. Much obliged. Not very welcoming. But let's go find Adelaide. If you're hungry, there's meat turning on the spit outside. If you're bearing illness, find a place to lay your head down and I'll fetch you a poultice. Whatever your troubles with Edgewater, leave them at the gates and be welcomed here. Any questions, dear? You must be Adelaide. I have been called that, among other things. Green Thumb, Grandmother, the strange old lady who keeps flowers. But yes, Adelaide will do just fine. Excuse me, Miss McDevitt? Sorry, it's just... You got such pretty trees in here. Why, thank you. You're Robert's girl, aren't you? 
I remember when you were but a sprout. Thomas speaks of you often. Are you staying long? You should try some of my tobaccorn tea. I brew it in an old spittoon, but it's been cleaned. Reed sent me to make peace with you. Reed Thompson? You here on behalf of that cold-eyed reptile? Let's hear it. What's Reed's idea of peace, then? Make amends. Spare me. Only thing Reed knows how to make is a mess. Like everything else that comes out of Edgewater, that peace offering is canned. I and my own are living just fine out here by ourselves. He would do such a thing. The question is, why would you agree to his plans? Cannery's got a regulator. You want ship parts, you ought to rip them out of the cannery's guts and leave us be. If you're going down to the plant, you should divert power away from Edgewater and toward our end of the grid. Think about it. You'd be liberating an entire town from a lifetime of service to that odious cannery. Seems the sort of thing a hero would do. Uh, I'm leaving. Alright. Bit of a tricky one. But, let's go sort out the power. Which way am I going? That is not the way to go. How do I... Is it that? No. No. Right. So... Which way do I go? Let's check out the map. Item repair. I got a sniper which is cool. Um right, how do I go to wherever it is that I need to go to? Right, what's the directions here? Check the map. Oh I need to go back the way I came from and then head towards the east. Stay on the lookout for more marauders. Nothing so far, so it's all good. Oh. How do I... Okay. So we found a power plant. Oh. What? Did not end up the way. Where are we headed? That was an accident. 
Okay. Cool. That's um. Yeah, that that was. These robots really have great armor, and I need something to deal with that. Can I hack this? No, I can't. So I'm gonna keep it moving. Uh, we are just gonna run through this. Control room. We should be off to the right. What we're doing right there. Unexpected noise identified. Wow, nice work. Okay, so three switches. That'll be easy enough. As poverty said, we've got three switches uh, three switches to deal with. Which we are going to be doing now. I want to try and do, do this stealthily. Who, where, who, what? Who's coming? Where are you going? She go. What the hell? She's fat. Wait. Okay, that's one switch. Where is she? Who? What is this voice that I keep hearing? Oh, there you are. Okay. We're all good. Go away, Phantom. Who the hell is this? On here. Anymore. Can't go through this way. Here we go. I really want to reserve my ammo. Jeez, really going ahead. Where'd you go? Why do I feel like you're lying about that? That's uh, the second if, if one. Send the power to Miss McDevitt. What happens to the veil? <laughs> the last. 
I'm assuming you go back now. Are we going back to where we came from? Bard? Where did I come from? What? So confused. Did I come through this way? Yes, I did. Alright, so I'm assuming we go back to that original room. Mind the steam. You're liable to get scalded. Who is that? I want to find out. You're not real. You're not real. Hoping I'm going the right way. And I believe we are. Because I do remember all this. The room should be somewhere on the left. Right? Yep. That's cool. So, I'm planning to. This, there's no going back. Hey, mister? Look, I know you want your power regulator and all, but. I just gotta ask you, do you understand what you're about to do? Uh, I wouldn't mind hearing your opinion. I don't think you should cut off Edgewater's power. I think it would be cruel. I I'm sorry, that just sort of came out all at once. Edgewater's hurting. We've been losing workers year after year, and corporate hardly ever sends replacements. There's barely enough Saltuna to fill our bellies anymore. But the town's got some good people in it. Decent, hard-working folk just living their lives the only way they know how. They don't deserve to be punished. I see your point. I think I'm ready to make a decision. Sorry, I didn't mean to babble on like that. I just... I felt like I had to say something. It's all good. It's all good. Really? I mean, wow. Thanks. I... No one's ever told me those words in that order. So good. All right, let's do this. To Edgewater. <laughs> Done. Let's get out of here. Retrieve the power regulator. Well, that wasn't too bad. It went quite well. But we got perk points as well. I chose to have more health and um, can we fast travel? Yes, we can. All 
Right, so we're at the botanical lab. Oh, that's Thomas. He used to follow me around before he left the cannery. I know, I'm trying to think. I wouldn't mind upgrading a few things. Um, impact hammer. Cool. Uh, what am I using? Doesn't seem like there's any mods to install right now. Let's just go ahead and see Adelaide, who's not going to be a happy bunny. That's the thing about growing old. Your eyes start to fail. Elsewise, I would have seen you for the snake that you are. Chopped you into pieces and roasted you on a spit. This is all you're doing. Cutting off my power, killing off my garden. Without refrigeration, my food will spoil and my flock will starve. I want to ask you this in private, away from the eyes of my flock, so they do not see me lose my temper. Tell me, why did you do it? This isn't personal, Adelaide. I need your power regulator. You killed my garden, destroyed my community, sentenced my flock to a lifetime of slavery in Edgewater for a power regulator. Well, shit, I wish it was personal. Go talk to Grace and Thomas. Look them in the eye and tell them their life here is over, and the only thing left to do is go back to Edgewater. This is now your responsibility. And you tell Reed Thompson that I will never return to Edgewater. I would rather die among my flowers than live under his management. I'm willing to deal with Reed for you. You offering to cross Reed off, huh? This some sort of twisted reparation for what you've done? Or are you just looking for a chance to sow some chaos? Kill Reed if you must. Or talk him into leaving if you can. He and I are not sharing the same four walls together. Reed isn't just gonna leave his post, I'll need some help convincing him. Tell Reed that I can make his people healthy again. I can end their plague. Start a new garden right in the cannery. Three square meals for every man and woman in Edgewater. Tell him how I've made the veil bloom again. The soil has whispered its secrets to me, and I alone know how to breathe life back into the earth. The secret is human corpses. I've been grinding them up in my fertilizer for years. Marauder, worker, don't matter much to me. The human body is rich with nutrients. I need to think this over. Alright, you know what, let's talk to these guys. Everybody keeps staring at me. Are you, uh, uh, are things safe out here? Great, just great. I've been trying to keep stuff running, just like you. Only I'm not... Oh gosh, no, I I'm just along with... I've seen you wandering around here. I'm passing through. Sorry, I just wasn't sure if you were from town or if you were one of us. Something's been chewing at me, you see. Fact is, I've been, well, lying. To everybody here. Camp thinks I'm a mechanical genius, but I couldn't fix a busted chair. Never too late to start learning. I could give you a couple pointers. I'll take all the help I can get. I set my mind to learning the craft of the engineer, you see. I want to make something of myself. You ever heard of the Young Spacer's Guide to Mechanical Engineering? Comes in a set of three. If I had my hand... Those are good. I know the old community center kept a copy. Should find another one back in town. I'll let you know if I find anything. Would you? You won't survive without power. It's time to go back to Edgewater. I've been thinking about... I get sick. I mentioned those manuals on mechanical engineering. 
Suppose if I had one of those, I could go back to read and make a real case for myself. Uh, I should go. Alright, where's your books, man? Oh, wait. Is, one seems like it's nearby. No, never mind. Is it? Get this guy his book, man. There's one at the community center, which is here. Oh. What are you shoot? Oh. Kill him. Oh, you're getting shot up. From who? Alright? Oh, let's just get the book and get out of here. Where's the book? Where's the book? Did I get it? Telling me to leave, yeah. So there's one book here. I think I'm gonna. Wanna fast travel? Alright, so, I got him one of his books. Let's speak to the other lady. Oh, she is not a fan of us. Marauders can't see us in the dark. Wild canids, on the other hand. There's nothing left for you here. It's time to go back to Edgewater. The matter's been weighing on me. Fact is, I can't go anywhere long as Zoe's missing. Disappeared without a trace. Marauders took her, I suspect. It's not like Zoe to go wandering. Figured she might be out scavenging, but that ain't exactly her talent. Can't imagine where she's gone. Vale's a wide place. She could be anywhere. Appreciate it. Honest. Alright. Uh. Oh man. Where's the house? Let's search Zoe's home before. I mean, I feel like I should just help them out because of the things that have. I feel a bit guilty about diverting the bow to Edgewater, but it seemed like the option to go through. Okay. 
Oh, did I do it? Find Zoe. Where is she? Oh. Yeah, all right. Let's um. Oh man, that's bare long. All right, we'll do that side quest later on. For now. Let's complete comms now, the power. I did speak to these guys, right? Any luck finding one of those manuals? No kidding! Re Look! In fact, I put aside something special. Sure! What's on... And cool, right. So, we are back at Edgewater. Let's go speak to Reed, who is up at that building over there. And we are going to be heading that way. Our tuna canary. I'll do the other stuff later on. Side quests. Read. This is a fine day, friend. Power flows through our town like a cool stream of water. I trust Adelaide's people have seen their way to reason. So, when can I expect them back at their posts? Spoke to Adelaide. She won't come back as long as you're here. Then we are at an impasse. Stewardship over this town has been entrusted to me by Spacer's choice. I am not perfect. I have made my share of mistakes. But I have done my best for this town. A change of leadership might be what this town needs. I am a Spacer's choice man. My father was a Spacer's choice man. Edgewater may not look like much to some buttoned up freelancer. But it is my home. Adelaide's people aren't getting sick with the plague. I don't believe you. Plague's a reality of life. Best treatment is a good work ethic. This town doesn't eat anything but Saltuna. Of course you're getting sick. You are disparaging our parent company and it is not appreciated. We are a spacer's choice Saltuna cannery. We eat Saltuna here and only Saltuna. I'm pretty sure it's your food that's making you sick. You need Adelaide's garden. I don't understand. You say Adelaide's growing her own food, but that should not be possible. The soil's gone sour. Company said as much. Our own botanists couldn't grow decent crops for us. So the company got rid of them and shut down the greenhouse. Adelaide's found a way to grow food. She'll come back if you step down. You will excuse me for being skeptical. How exactly is Adelaide growing crops in barren soil? Look, Reed, all I know is that it involves some really complicated math if, and it works. Did I lie? If Adelaide's found a way to feed her people and cure the plague, then she deserves this office more than I do. Hey! I won't stand in her way. My life here is ended. Give me a little time to settle my affairs. I'm sure Adelaide will be glad to see the back of me. What are your plans? A couple months ago, I might have put in for a transfer. It's a big colony. Spacer's Choice has other towns. Now, I couldn't show my face in any of them. Take care. Alright, I'm guessing that worked out. Adelaide in power. Let's go give her the good news. Where is she? Adelaide. Adelaide. I have good news.
Look at that. The snakes come back. What happened to you, Adelaide? All this anger had to come from somewhere. My son worked in that cannery. When the plague started coming, he was one of the first to fall sick. We had a store of medicine locked away, but Reed refused to treat him. Said my boy didn't deserve treatment. Said the medicine would have been wasted on him. So I buried my boy in the cemetery, gathered my belongings, and left. That's as much of the story as you need to hear. I talked Reed into leaving, come back to Edgewater. I never thought I'd see the day that Reed Thompson abandoned his post. Suppose we all have a breaking point. Suppose it's time our flock made our way back to Edgewater. We must tend to what remains of the town and carry on with our lives as best we may. You're vexing to me, you know? Injuring us with one hand, helping us with the other. Here, I'm giving you something to leave us be. It's a ransom, you understand, not a reward. Edgewater's better off with you running the place. You're telling me you did all this just to put me in charge of Edgewater? Stranger, you are some kind of twisted. I might turn that old cannery into a garden. Got ourselves a whole cemetery bursting with bodies. I need some time to gather my personals. Long walk back to Edgewater. Got a considerable burden to carry. Take care. Wicked. Alright, so we have completed the quest. Comes now the power. I've got some skill points I need to allocate. Um, what is next? What do we do next? Um, but yeah, we're gonna retrieve the power regulator first. Wicked. And I'm guessing we go back to our ship. Yeah, we're gonna go back to the unreliable. I think I'm gonna take a little break here, but um, yeah, I'll see you for the next episode. Peace.